Right, okay then. So I think we're on the last run of the puppy. So we're just, I did a little bit earlier. I did do a bit on his nose, but we'll do a bit more on that now. And then um, I'm gonna show you then how I would mount it and actually sign it as well. Um, I've had a consultation with my artistic director, <laughs> my husband, and um, we actually disagreed, but I'm going with what I think is gonna be right. So see what you see what you think. See see if you can guess where I would sign it. I think you've been through this already actually. So I, I really want to get this bit here finished because yeah, that's where I'm gonna sign it. But I'll show you that at the end. Um, so just got a few little bits and pieces to do. I put a bit more glue on his nose, but as you can see it needs a bit more work on it. So I'll do that now. Um Changed a few things here. I made this go up a little bit higher, and I, you know, I have to go kind of go right in front of it like that, which I know you can't see it very well if I do that, but otherwise you just don't get the angle right. So I can see that this is just slightly wrong here. It needs to be up, kind of there a bit. Just not quite right. It's hardly there, isn't it, really? Just don't want to make a big deal of it, really. It's, it's hardly there. Then this, I made a little bit blacker, but I can see that I've, I've overdone that. So just lighten it up a bit with the with the blue. So this is the um, Caran uh number 788-664. Very strong pigment in these, very, very strong. I like these pencils very much. Uh, I slightly changed this bit here, round here, um, because I could see that I hadn't really quite done this right. And I'm still examining it now, actually. There's just a little bit that comes in there and then down. Then it kind of goes through here like that. I've lost a little bit, little bit of that blackness there because I was doing a bit on the end here. And so really it's just, just bitty, bitty colours here. There's a little line there, that's too light. Got to be careful not to go mad with these bits. It's very tempting to kind of overdo it. I know, I, I tend to want to really go for those highlights, but it's not as effective if you put too many in. And then this, I did actually increase his nostril size because it, it was, wasn't big enough. I'd done it too small, which actually is very easy to do. You know, you can hardly, you can hardly see the difference now in in this colour here to the surroundings uh, but now we're going to we're just going to change that now so that you do get a bit more a feel of this changing colour here so I'm just going to kind of glaze it over really almost just hardly touching it at all just to get that difference in colour from the back and there's a little bit more on the edge here not much. And the blues come in here. Kind of streaky there. Um, just got to do that, sorry. That's a bit straighter there. see that needs attention there. I've, what with mine it's coming out too much so it just needs to be more rounded and down just like this. But it's, again this is a good thing about pastels you can do all this kind of thing so easily and we'll just 
put a bit of cream in there. Just try and repair that bit there. It's a bit streaky, isn't it, through there? And I want to keep that little bit of orange in there. Just here, that bit there. seen this that, that looks very harsh there doesn't it now so we'll just go over that I think with some cream see I haven't looked at this bit for a long time so much else going on it just looks a bit a bit harsh just put a bit more I've done it in black initially and it's just a bit too much. Goes right down to the black there. Yeah, that is black actually. Let's get my kind of sharp black there. This is the kind of thing you can go on and on with this. You've got to know when to stop. And I, I find this very difficult, this bit, stopping. Because I can see, oh yeah, that needs doing. And, but you know, then it, it can easily then become overworked and look very um, staid and not very exciting. It needs to really... Um, needs to really have a bit of life in it and you only get that by really you know doing it quickly and you just do you just do if you take too long about anything it won't it won't be right I don't think so anyway it doesn't work for me anyway um, we're all different though we're all different just remember that when you're working you're not going to do it like anybody else. You'll have your own way. And that's how it should be. I think that's how it should be. And this is why I encourage you to really do your own thing with it. You know, go. Go for different colours and different marks. You know, with the, you make with a pencil. You'll, you'll just get your own things that you like to do. You'll just come. You'll just come naturally. Right, this is all a bit darker in here. Just put a bit more black on, just to darken it. But actually, it's, it's got a lot of this orange in it. So, just put some of that in. Just livens it up a bit. That's better. And then carry it through down here. And then we'll do the cream flicky bit over the top of that. Right, so we've got this coming up here like that. That's okay. And then we've got, just by wiping that pencil, then this is coming up like this. down. This reminds me of doing poems when you have to hold a load of things together. 
um, yeah, so it's, it's got a bit of orangey over there, just like that. It's actually a nice bit of colour in here. Um, I want to get some of that colour in here. looking at these pat as patches you know this this bit I'm doing now just looking at it as a patch patches of colour Some orange in there. That's a bit orange, more orange. Okay, well, I think for me, I could kind of go on and on with this, but I, I don't want to do that, as I just said. I don't want to. There's lots more we can we need to do on here to get this what we can call finished. So we need to get on. But this didn't feel like it was red enough to me here. I'm just trying to make sure that, that is red enough there. some streaks in that bit there and then this is very dark around here it's got a bit of a redness to it it's got a bit of edge there as well okay so did a bit on here earlier, all these bits that weren't quite right, just carried on with those. Um, now I want to do this here so that we can get this, I think his, his ear is pretty well finished, I just want to soften up that bit there. Just leave it nice and hairy. You can just soften it up if you feel it's a bit harsh, just like that, just dabs it down. That's what I needed to do as well. I need to get this a bit darker. This is too light. And it won't make the light bits look as effective if this is too light. So I've got a light bit here, but again, it's too light. That's okay. I just put a couple of streaks of navy through that. And then this needs to come like that. You see we've got kind of darkness coming through like that where it dips down, so it's not catching the light as much because it's dipping down. There's a tiny fleck of light there. That's coming down. That is darker there. And this needs to come up a bit more here, a bit darker. This is darker here. They're okay, has a little bit so not too bad. That is coming round a bit too much. So you've got to be careful with this because this is where the light is, is showing. So it can't be too much, otherwise it won't look right. It won't look real. This is all much darker here, isn't it? What I 
tend to do is I, I tend to see all the bits, put them in, and then just go back over them and, and calm them all down a bit. There's too much anywhere, just calm it all down. And that seems to work for me, it seems to work all right. It might be a more laborious way of doing it. Oh, I hope not. Um, because I enjoy detail, I don't find it laborious, but uh, I'd really be interested to know what you think about this, actually. Because a lot of people won't do it like this way. They won't bother with all the detail until the very, very end. But I think if you get everything in the right place and get some of the, the detail marks in as well, it's, it's going to work really well. Another bit I noticed needs a bit of attention uh, when I was looking at it. Uh, is this bit here? It's not red enough. Press a bit harder if you want a bit more colour. That's not red enough, see? And that comes into the ends, got streaks in there. And then kind of got a couple of little dots there. Just knock them back. That's too bright there. And more red in here, we need more red in here. It's not red enough, see? I really hope you can see the difference this is making on the camera. It really does make a big difference. Some of these you can see where they're going right under, right under his ear, some you can't quite see because it's so dark. Just put it in anyway and then just pat it back. Right, I think that's okay. I did notice this needs to be a bit more green in here, a bit too light. So I'm going with a kind of green that's similar to this here that I put in. There is a light streak in there, but it's not as bright as that. But by just adding the green, it won't lose that lightness, but it'll just enrich it a bit with the green. And it'll look more like it's in the background, really. Also, I can see that that, that mark there, I'm going to do it in navy because it's very bluey looking here, going right across here. A little bit of hair is coming in there. Just like that. That's it. And this here is quite dark here. And it's just not dark enough in mine. So we'll do a little patch there. Still with the navy. This lovely cobalt blue, I suppose it is. I don't know. It's very dark. Um, I'm doing it with this colour because it adds more colour and it, it's just a bit more jolly than the black. Just a bit more interesting. Just put some streaks through there. There's some little... Where's our... Um, Karen Dosh? This is the... 788042. This is just right for here because we want to put some little streaky bits in here. Just you can hardly see them, but they're just a bit of colour. And then here, just like a little curly bits. Just twist the pencil around and it'll give you nice curly bits. Then here, I've got some. Come up like that, and off the end. That's a bit darker there. Then we've got some coming through here. And here, this is darker, but we'll just 
just soften up the ends. Yeah. And these, as you can see, that's too, too harsh on the end there. More colour in there. And in here. Soften that there, it's a bit softer. Now, I've just got orangey there coming in here. Straight through there. Just a bit more colour here. I've tried to make these a lot darker in here. I, I need to probably to do a bit more work on these. But like I say, I want to try and get this all done within half an hour. So this will be your last. This will be your last video. I want to show you how I've mounted now. I want to get that in. So I'll pay a bit of attention to that after. I think. Now, how's this nose looking? That needs to be a bit more blue, doesn't it? Really, a bit brighter in there. I think his nostrils looking a bit better. But I can see it's not high enough. Let's do that. It's not really going up high enough there. It needs to be darker. And actually, when you measure it, it's the same nostrils ends here is the same height as that dark bit there so yeah it's not high enough it's best just to do this very very gradually I've noticed with nostrils uh, they're quite tricky they are tricky you can they can often as I've said before they can often look like pig noses if you don't get it right if it's, the line is too harsh it doesn't it's, it's got to have a a nice transition to the um, nostril around it. Just want to use something a bit brighter in his nose there. So this is light blue, not white, rather than white, and it just springs to life then, doesn't it? Just little bits, just little bits. Okay, so I probably wouldn't do much more than that. I will just put some black through these bits here again, because there, there's a bit much, really, a bit much there. You can see it's kind of going up like that. Too near the edge of the nostril there. For these bits over the black, I actually use the 
this brighter blue and it's come out a nice grey but it, it shows up nicely. Let's see something here that's just needs to be a little bit more of a so we've got a line coming like that that's the bottom of his nose then we've got some little teeny weeny little hairs coming down in a V. Let's try and get this bit on the side right, because I'm not liking the way it's, it is at the moment. It, it's, a, it's a bit too uniform looking. Um, did, I did a bit more on this, got this nice and black, but I think that's on the video. I've seen that bit. I put that black streak through there. This is kind of, that can go a bit like that, I think. Make it look a bit messy on the end. Get rid of that. That's okay. That's dark in there. Just put flecks of black there to show the hair. That gives the idea of the hairs going over. It's underneath. Just kind of going through all these messy bits. Just looking at that, just to give me an idea of what to do with it, really. Because you, you can't really make this up. That needs to come across there, though, definitely. This bit here it needs to come across here. That's it, that'll do. That'll do. You don't need to put a lot of thought into this, just go with it. And then this needs to be a bit lighter, nice and streaky. Soften up the ends of those hairs. This needs some streaks of cream in it. Then here. It's the pen draw. That's nice and blurred in the background. This needs to be darker in here, see? can't really see much going on here. I've got to remember that this, this is going to be mounted like this and then like that. So I just want to get this, this line right here. I think those are the sort of things that make it look real. You get those lines right as it comes off the page. That's really important. They're a lot darker in there. You see, they're coming darker and coming into the light. So they're not light all the way. Right, we 
I need some gold in there, some orange actually. That'll be orange. Just go over those little light bits here and there. Not all the way over them, just here and there. And that will give that effect that you've got there. my hands before I get the mount on I'm going to show you how I would put how I would say, sign it. I've got a fairly sharp cream here it doesn't need to be massively sharp and I'll, I'll just show you I like my I like my signatures to be quite low-key I don't like them to be you know I'm not I'm not a very good writer I'm a very messy writer in fact I would have made been a very good doctor because I write like a doctor it's terrible Nobody can understand what I've written or understand my sentences, actually. Um, so I just do like a little symbol, DC, and I like that. It's like a little symbol. It's easy for me. So, yeah, the next step is to put the glassine over. And really, with a cloth, actually, I can just a bit of tissue or something just to make it soft. If you just... Place it over the top, give it another tape down so it doesn't move around and just work it over like this, just like that and it presses all the pastel into the paper and then you won't need to spray it because once you spray it at the end it dulls all the colour down, it doesn't matter what makeup pastel you've used or whether you've used sticks or, or pencils, it just dulls the colour right down. And to me, it spoils it because I, as you gathered, I'm all about getting that colour impact. So just do that and you can see that it will be on the paper there. Just take the paper off because we're going to put something else on there now. showing you this because I've just put a little bit of tape here so it'll just take down easily. I'm showing you this now I've made this picture to fit this mount and uh, I'm really pleased with myself because I've actually trained myself to do this at last. So I, I know that the picture will fit just right because I worked it all out. So we'll just put the mount on as best we can like that. And then I put a clean, clean piece of uh, just printer paper on the ed edge here so I can lean on it and I don't mark the thing. And I'll just situate it in this corner here. I don't want it big. I'll just do a DC and then I pat it in like that. That's all. That's all I do. So I know it's in the right place. But when we come to um, frame it, properly um, we'll just put the mount on and we'll just position my signature in that corner just like I've done it there so it makes it very very easy so yeah there we are there's our puppy I'll get out of the way so you can see him yeah I'm pleased with him actually really pleased with him but I think I'll still be intensifying the colour a bit I, I still want to do that. So you'll see the finished picture, but it won't be any different other than intensifying the colour. I'd like to really do something with these bits here. And get that, I want to get that depth in there. Um, but that's a, that might be a case of using a little brown stick. A little um, uh, 
what are these called? I can't remember what they're called now. Um, I'll, I'll add it in the details if I can. I've tried to add it, um, but it doesn't seem to want to let me add it for some reason. So I'll try again. Um, it's, um, just can't think of what it's called at the moment, but I'll write it in the details. But that, that little stick, I won't put it on here now because I don't want to get it on the mount, but that, that will darken those. These need to be darker. Give it that three-dimensional look. Okay then, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed our little puppy. I certainly have. And um, see you on the next one, which won't be long. Got some ideas already. Okay, see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye then.